Das Moor ist für mich immer ein Ort The Moor has always been a place of peace for me. I like to come here when I just want to relax. Hello, I'm Andrea Whistle and I'm a moorland guide on the Red Moor. Originally, I just wanted to broaden my knowledge of moors because I live near the Red Moor and wanted to organize guided tours for children. But then I discovered that it was so much fun that I actually enjoyed taking adults and children through the moor. Although there are few flowers in the autumn, many people still come here because the display of color is quite spectacular. We have a whole palette of greens, and the reds and browns are also wonderful in this place. You can walk through this area every couple of weeks and always find new, fascinating colors. Peat moss is definitely one of the treasures of our planet. It dies down and then forms layers of peat. This is the white peat, and the lower layer from earlier times is the black peat. What fascinates me most is that the peat moss in the bog absorbs CO2 from the atmosphere and stores it forever in the soil. It's like a safe for CO2. The high moors that store it are getting higher and higher. This means that even more CO2 can be absorbed from the atmosphere and simply trapped underground again. The worst thing you can actually do is peat extraction because peatlands have stored CO2 and effectively sealed it off forever. But when you open them up again, the CO2 is released into the atmosphere. This means that the climate warms up even faster when peat is cut. In fact, this is still happening. Many bogs were drained, the water drained away, and only then could the peat be extracted from the ground. This year, the Red Moor has become waterlogged again, this means that sheet pile walls were built to stop the water, the rainwater coming from above, from flowing out. Peatlands actually cover only 3 to 4 percent of the Earth's surface, but they can store twice as much CO2 as all forests combined. In other words, if you want to protect the climate and start with peatlands, simply by stopping peat extraction and leaving them undisturbed, you can make a difference pretty quickly. They are a closed ecosystem. They do a lot of good for the climate. For me, peatlands are the greatest treasures on Earth.